Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. So you see those two Swiss knives there? That's the Victorinox Ranger and the Victorinox Hunter, two of my favorites. But wait, what is that on the scale of the Ranger? That is a Firefly, all right? Firefly Firestarter. So this video is going to be a demonstration of this item that I found, the Firefly. It comes in an, an eight pack and it was a, it's around $40 for the eight pack. I think it's well worth it. You know, I saw this on another channel, right, the uh, Johnny Juke channel. Feel free to subscribe to Johnny Juke. He's pretty awesome. All right, so superior quality flint, easy to spark, throws large spark, glow in the dark top, ultra light and compact. And it's got some instructions, directions there, which you don't have to read because you're going to see a demo. No, just kidding. Read the instructions. So there it is. I put it in the Ranger. Right, and yeah, it does stay in securely, which is good. Here's a size comparison. You get two different sizes, four of each, and there they are next to the toothpick, right? So one's a little longer, one's a little shorter. The glow-in-the-dark uh, tips are nice, right? You can uh, That's useful in itself. So there it is going into the hunter, right? And shake your groove thing. Yeah, it stays in very securely. Shake your firefly. Now, this is a great idea, and a lot of people have had this idea, but, you know, thinking it up is one thing, but marketing it, distributing it, packaging it, you know, bringing it to market is another. All right, let's go outside and demonstrate this. Those, that's a box of shavings from Whitling that I saved because uh, they're good for little tinder. All right, so there it is. I'm using the saw on my hunter, the back of it. All right, so you see... For a small little fire starter, it sparks very well, right? And it I thought it caught there, but it it's a little damp out, so it went out. But you can't you cannot stop this train. Getting serious now. Yeah, I was impressed at um, and I, you know you got to be kind of careful with this because it's it's thin, so don't like you know try not to break it. But there you go, it caught. Yeah, that was fast. I mean, for a little fire starter, it's, it sparks better than um, a lot of the bigger ones. So, yeah, stare into the fire. What do you see? I see Victorinox buying this company. Yeah, no, Victorinox should definitely jump on this and just, uh, you know, buy some of them and include them. I mean... Yeah, these, these are going to sell really well, I think. But they are on Amazon. All right, I will include a full list of links. And like I said, they come in an 8-pack, but some people were complaining they want to buy them individually. I'm sure they probably will sell them individually at some point, maybe. But because they are small, it's a good idea to have backups. So even if you don't have 8 Swiss knives... Uh, it's still good to have backups because, you know, they wear out a lot more quickly than a large uh, fire steel would. Uh, but then there's so many collectors of Swiss Army knives. There's plenty of people that have, uh, you know, dozens. So, yeah, buy a few of these eight packs. All right, check out the links in the text description box. Those links do help the channel. Yeah, that's a little nugget of birch bark that I found. And it was kind of damp from the rain yesterday, but birch bark will go, it'll go up, you know. Yeah, as, as, uh, that's a pretty well-known trick that the birch bark is quite flammable. And just so that this video will be uh, have maximum use for you, I'm going to include a list of some of my top picks and favorite Swiss knives in the text description box. We're going to make a current list of my favorites. You know, I really like the hunter there. It's got a lot of the essentials, you know, it's got the saw, it's got a locking blade, it's got a reamer on the back, it's got a serrated gut hook, and now it has this emergency fire starter, All right? I mean, that that is, if you want one that's not too thick, you know, a larger size Swiss knife that's not too thick, that is uh, highly recommended, All right? And then you got... Let's see, you got the Alox models, the Electrician is really good, the Pioneer X, the Farmer, and then you got the, the thinner models uh, with the regular scales, 
like the Tinker, that's probably the most popular. You got the Super Tinker, you got the Compact. Uh, the Cyber Tools are good for IT, right? And of the longer sizes, uh, you got the Outrider. That's my Ranger there. Now, why I like the Ranger, it doesn't have every tool, but it has a lot of the most important tools. It just doesn't have pliers. And uh, when I need pliers, I usually carry one of my Leathermans. So for all the non-plier days, I like the Ranger, you know, but of the larger size Swiss knives, I like the Work Champ, the Outrider, uh, the Hercules is pretty popular. I've seen a lot of bushcraft videos with the Hercules. All right, so I'm going to include a list of all uh, of all my top picks and you can, you know, treat yourself. Now that I've rekindled your interest, the fire of your interest, fired you up, get it? Fired, fire steel, fire starter. Yeah, anyway, yeah, check out those links, uh, treat yourself, and also, you know, you can buy, buy one as a gift to get other people into the movement. Yes, one of us, one of us. But as for this Firefly, yeah, I'm very happy with them. You know, that's a great thing about YouTube. You always uh, find stuff like this that you didn't know you need. All right, so hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.